Guess what we're hunting today? But if you clicked on the video, you probably already saw the title and the thumbnail. So we're hunting the pennies. This is a circulated box. And I can tell because this is one of the ones that has the holes in the bottom. Uh, I couldn't, didn't really take a good look at the ones in the bottom, but I didn't see anything, uh, any wheat scents or anything offhand there. So let's get into this box see what we have in here do we have anything old or anything cool or both let's find out intro take 473 cue music cue coins yeah. all right awesome now pick them up i'm not rich Roll number nine, and we've got a wheat scent here. Just poured it out. Hunt's been going pretty slow, so it's nice to see a wheat scent. 1944, cool. There's our first wheat scent, and this is roll number nine. We just take a quick look. I don't see anything else standing out. All right, let's get back to this, and hopefully it's not another nine rolls before I'm back with the find. Okay, roll 16, we've got our second wheat scent here. Got a 1942, 1942 Weedy, nice. Um, that is a Philadelphia Weedy because there's no mint mark on it. So booms, two wheat cents so far. Hopefully we'll get some more soon. Here is something interesting here. Um, these rolls, if you look at them here and I flip them over, let me know if you, I don't know if it's gonna show up. You see a difference here? This one looks like it's missing one or two cents in it. So it's very, very, you see the big gap in here? On this side, it's pretty much the same. So I am missing a couple of cents, one, maybe two cents in here. I'll probably actually count that one up and just see how much I'm missing. Oh, I figured I'd just record this one being open just to see if there is anything interesting on the inside. There you go. If you want to pause and count, feel free to. I will count this up um, after I get done searching through it. All right, so I am short two pennies in that roll. Yep, two cents short. I've made it to roll 33, and we got an interesting find here. Look at this 1983. This one is... You can see how off-center the obverse is. There's a huge rim on this side. Very little rim here left. This is a misaligned obverse die, and it's more of an extreme example. Um, if we flip it over on the reverse, the reverse is centered. If the reverse was off-center as well, it would be a uh, off-center. But this one is a pretty nice condition. Pretty extreme misaligned eye. Uh, very cool, very cool find. All right, I just poured out roll number 35, 35, yeah. And it looks like right here I've got a 1955 wheat scent. Let's take a look. That is a 1955 out of Philly. Cool, that's another wheat scent for the stack up here. The stack that is now at three. Awesome. Here's our third wheat scent. All right, we got another interesting find here on roll 36. We have a counter stamped 2005. It has some damage on it, unfortunately, but someone stamped an F into this one. And if we flip it over, you can see the damage on the reverse where the stamp was uh, pushed into it there. So that is a fun little find. F for fun find, I guess. <laughs> Awesome. This coin was brought to you by the letter F. Hey, we've made it to roll 46 and we've hit our fourth wheat scent. This has been a very slow box for wheats. We have a 1941 here. That is our fourth wheat. Hopefully we find at least one more, but I only have four rolls left. So we'll see how things go. Got a lot of dirty scents and these have been mostly 80s or newer. So... Uh, the old scents have been very, very slow going. 
Well, four wheels left. Let's see what we got. Well, it is time to wrap up on this box. It was a really tough box to hunt. Um, not a lot in the way of copper, probably less than two dozen uh, copper pennies. But uh, luckily, four of those were wheat cents. A 55, a 44, a 42, and a 41. That's nice. We had a couple of interesting finds. The uh, Probably the extreme misaligned die here on the 83 and the 2005 with a F counterpunch in it. Had about a dozen um, 2009s as well going through that box. But again, that box was mostly, was probably 98% uh, zinc sense. There was a lot of stuff to look at. Uh, tons of 83s to check for DDOs, 95s, and all kinds of different uh, dates in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and, and on to check for any uh, varieties and stuff, but there was nothing there on any of those. Um, I do have probably about two dozen pennies up here to check against the albums. There's not a lot that will probably upgrade. Some of them are kind of iffy. I think I have better ones, but figured I would set those aside to check. First album, a Wheatson album here. Uh, we did not fill or upgrade any spots because of the ones that we found. We already had better ones in here. So our second album, 59 to 98, the Memorial Sets. No fills or upgrades. So book number three, I've got a 2011 here that is just a nicer, cleaner example than the one I have here. So I'm gonna upgrade that. That is all for this book and all for the all the scents. So we had just one cent uh, upgrade in our albums. Uh, we weren't completely skunked out on this hunt, but uh, it was. It is definitely one of the lower amount of finds I have had in penny boxes for sure. Um, I have had boxes with nothing, so finding at least a few coins is better than nothing. And you never know what you're going to find in the boxes. It could be that um, one awesome coin, or it could be nothing. And most likely somewhere in the middle. Uh, but you don't know what you're going to find if you don't look. So uh, I do hope you enjoyed the hunt and the video here. If you did, hit that thumbs up, post me up, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.